What's up everybody? Another day in paradise. Number one, <laughs> this week has been a lot of fucking life lessons, man, that is that has been thrown at me big time. But before I get into that, what a shit show Hensley's live feed today. Man, I found out some shit. There, is, there seems to be a lot of fake ass uh, YouTubers, truck drivers, YouTube truckers. There's some fake motherfuckers out here, man. You never know who to believe anymore. <clears throat> I know one thing, though, that ain't fake. I thought I'm pretty good about small problems becoming big problems. Well, I found out real quick today, real quick today, life gave me a real kick in the ass today. I was sitting here in uh, Mexia, Alabama, waiting to get loaded. Good paying load too. Damn good paying load. 832 bucks on uh, 234 miles with a hundred mile of deadhead up here to get it. I could deal with that. So I get in here and get checked in and uh, it is 8.20 Eastern time right now. I want to say I got in here about 2.30, so I've been here going on six hours. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. All the trucks in front of me got loaded. The seven trucks that come in after I did, they done got loaded and they're gone. Because as I'm sitting here waiting to get loaded today, hotter than fuck. I mean, it was 98 degrees today, according to my dash. So I'm running the AC, you know, I'm idling about 900 RPMs. My truck kind of does a little burp, little hiccup deal. Jumps down to 700 RPMs. Idles for about five seconds and then cuts off. And I am pretty convinced that the mass, the transfer fuel pump, the feeder fuel pump that, you know, fills up your fuel filters and sends fuel on up to the main fuel pump has taken a shit on me. Now, I knew it was acting up. I knew it was acting up. <clears throat> I've probably known for about two months that it's been been showing his ass. I thought, honest to God, that I had a little more time. I had actually found one online uh, for $380 that I was going to order Thursday morning, get it sent to the house, and uh, either commence to putting it on myself or get it put on. Well, there's no need for that now because uh, now I'm waiting on a fucking record. Let me show y'all the little fuel pump I'm talking about here. Might as well put this can of shit back up. This, uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm here in line, 
you check in back there at that yellow column, little computer check-in deal. And uh, hell, I had, like I said, I had six or seven trucks behind me today. And then uh, the line goes on up the little driveway here. They actually load you on that scale up there. <coughs> Somewhere over there sets my load. Like I say, I'm, I'm not going to get it. But uh, this transfer pump right here, you got one, two bolts on this side, two bolts on the other side, and then you got to undo this electric little wire harness right here that runs to the bottom of it. But this, uh, there she be, sets right back there. And it's got a fuse right here, a 10 amp fuse in there. And then you got a relay for it that is right here behind this little rubber wrap as uh, you can check your relay for it. Well, anyway, the fuse was blown. So I replaced it with a 10 amp fuse turned the key over, heard it buzzing for just a few seconds, and then it blew the fuse again. So, according to our mechanic at the yard, and my buddy slacker trucking, with it constant, uh, instantly blowing that fuse, you know, we believe that that uh, transfer fuel pump is shot. So I tried that, still wouldn't turn over. I even uh, took my air filter out. <clears throat> I took my air filter out and tried starting her with some starting fluid with upper cylinder lubricant, by the way. Still no go. So the guy up at our shop said uh, said well hey we can uh, we can get you towed over to truck works I'm not sure where in the hell he was talking about uh, I don't know if there's a truck works in Monroeville or if he was talking about Montgomery I don't know but anyway he called me back and he's like well shit they close at five o'clock he said, so we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get you towed up there before five o'clock today. I said, well, what's plan B? He said, well, I don't know. He said, uh, we can tow you, we can get you towed somewhere where, you know, you can get a motel or something. He said, what about the loves in Evergreen, Alabama? I said, well, there ain't no damn motel around that loves in Evergreen. Uh, so that ain't gonna work. He said, well, let me, you want me to find you a motel with truck parking and we can tow you there or get you towed there and then in the morning we'll get you towed to the shop, the truck works dealer shop. <clears throat> I got to thinking about it and I said, well, Austin, I said, if we do that, I said, uh, if we do that, I'm looking at two fucking tow bills, man. I said, and then we're not going to get into the dealership until, uh, we're not going to get into the dealership until probably Thursday morning. Y'all know how dealers are, you know, you know how fucking truck dealers are. <clears throat> So I said, uh, you looking at a $500 tow bill minimum times two, you know, the hell I've been out here in the 22 years that I've been out here. I personally have never seen a tow bill below 500 bucks. <clears throat> I said, so, uh, the hell with that bullshit, dude. I said, and then, you know, like I said, then you, you taking a chance on even being in the shop by Thursday morning. Because today, obviously, is Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, whatever. 
So I asked him, because I had the, uh, I had our head mechanic also on the phone. And so I asked our head mechanic, I said, well, hey, if I get it up to, to the yard in Tuscaloosa, I said, y'all be able to get to it in the morning? Yeah, yeah, we get you in in the morning. So I said, fuck it. Instead of paying two tow bills, at, like I said, at least a thousand bucks, and probably, hopefully, roll of the dice, maybe be in the dealer shop by Thursday morning, I said, fuck it, see if Fred Robertson's will come get me <clears throat> and bring me back to Tuscaloosa tonight, you know, and be in the shop in the morning. So that's what's going on. I am on hour number six here now, sitting around waiting. Got, uh, Fred Robertson's out of Tuscaloosa coming to get me. And that tow bill is 1350 bucks, man, just to uh, get towed to Tuscaloosa. But, like I said, I'll be in the shop in the morning and hopefully, God willing, we'll be out of there no later than Thursday morning. So that's, that's the decision I made. Because like I said, I've, I've been to too many dealers and I know the whole deal, you know. Well, we we backed up pretty good. We probably probably get you looked at Thursday morning. This is the kind of shit that happens in trucking, man. These, these trucks break down at the most inopportune time. Like I say, I had, I had five or six, seven trucks behind me today. They were, they were backed up behind me all the way around the little curve, pretty much back there at the split, where the, the, just the other side of that guard shack. And uh, they had to come around me. <laughs> they had to come around me one at a time, out through the grass, and uh, cut around in front of me there. So, it is what it is, right? You know, it... I, I honestly, I should have got that damn uh, <clears throat> transfer fuel pump replaced a month ago. But I thought I had more time. Yet another lesson learned. Which I'm not bitching. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not like pissed off at my truck. I mean, as, as we all know, it's trucking, you know? And like I say, uh, my, my transfer pump is red. So I'm assuming that it's the freaking original one. You know, with it being, like I say, that's it back yonder here behind all that shit. With it being red, I guarantee you it's original, you know? And... If that's the case, if that's the case, then uh, that fuel pump's got 1.3 million miles on it. So, you know, I I, I can't complain because this other, this main fuel pump now, <coughs> see this here's my main fuel pump. And as you can see, it got changed out September of 2018. Boy, I can tell that engine brake sensor's leaking fucking oil again. That motherfucker there just got replaced two years ago, too. But anyway, uh, yeah, see this one, as you can see, it's been replaced. It's not OEM, because if it was the original one, it would be Cummins Red, just like every damn thing else on here. Like that one is, the, the um, transfer fuel pump. So... I'm pretty sure it's the original one, 1.3 million miles on it. It is what it is. It's just the fact that I should have, I should have handled it <clears throat> while it was still a small problem, and I didn't. I thought I had more time. So that's it. This video's gone long and damn enough. Uh, Y'all take it easy. 
Hope everybody's having a good day. Please don't be a fake ass truck driver. If you own YouTube and you're a truck driver and you got a truck driving channel, be real with folks, man. It's a lot of phony motherfuckers on here. Every, every, people, people talk about they transparent and all this other shit. And uh, basically, it, it seems to be a lie. Seems to be a lie. But y'all be cool on your stool. Country time here in uh, <coughs> Mexia, Mexia, Alabama. We're back quiet.